going to be doing a slab style soap today and this is going to be I guess kind of a modified peacock swirl. So I'm going to be doing kind of a jungly theme. I have these little embeds that I made with, this is with the glycerin soap. They're little gorillas. If you can see those, there'll be 24 of them. And then I have the fragrances is monkey farts from Wholesale Supplies Plus and I have coconut. Now this one, I think it's kind of like patchouli, either you love it or you hate it. I don't love it, but some people do love it. I've done bath bombs with it. I haven't done, made soap with it yet. The bath bombs always sell really well. And then um, I'm just shy a little bit on the amount I need. So I'm going to add in that coconut there. I'm going to do a base layer. So let me backtrack. I'm going to be putting, making my batch. I'm going to divide it in thirds. One third will be my base with the fragrance with activated charcoal in each one of these molds. So I've got two of them to make 24. The final third will divided, be divided up into four of these. Um, squeeze bottles, little tip, I'll say this in all of them. I have little inserts. You can use either the little inserts that you get with packing, like this bubble, the bigger ones. You can cut the top off. These are actually baby bottle drop-ins that I had previously purchased. And I went ahead and I put my little bit of sweet almond oil in there with the colors. I have five of these that I'm going to do. I'm going to um, do lines of them and there's no fragrance in those because I want it to be super fluid. And then once I have that done, I have my little skewers, my little handmade skewer thing. So I'll do my lines this way. Then I will take this and I'll drag it across this way. And then I'll probably do a little swirl that way as well. We'll see when I get there. It's kind of one of those things where I have an idea and then maybe I'll change it. <laughs> so the colors I'm going to be using, I have Trial by Fire. I have, oh, that's Nurture Black Onyx. This is a super sparkle and um, Enviro Glitter. Alpine Green, again from Nurture Soap. I have Golden Pineapple Yellow from Wholesale Supplies Plus. And then I have a Smoky Black Mica. It kind of looks brown in the bag, but when you open it, it looks more pewter. This one is owned by Wholesale Supplies Plus. It used to be Elements Bath & Body. Haven't used that one yet. Hopefully it will behave okay. Now, one thing on the colors. I have these little squeeze bottles with sweet almond oil and some fragrances that I use for oil and mica swirls. I need to, excuse me, I need to use these up. So what I did, instead of using plain um, sweet almond oil in my bottles, I found the complementary color, so to speak. So with the red, I added a uh, red, pink, violet. Um, let's see, with the green, I have Wholesale Supplies Plus Evergreen. I have a pewter, uh, excuse me, potent purple mica that I did, I think with the black. I have a king's gold that I did with the yellow, and then I have a pewter that I did with the, I think with the, the Enviro Glitter one, I think. The thing is with these, the reason why I keep them in here has specific colors because they morph really bad when used in cold process, like they'll turn gray or um, they'll fade a little bit, but um, they work really good for the oil and water, excuse me, oil and mica drizzles. Okay, I think I've got everything out. So let me go ahead and get gloved up and we'll come back when I'm going to make it.